Hello, welcome to Northern Fixel TV. If you are new here, please subscribe to our new channel and turn on the notification so that you will not miss our next video. If you are talking about a prominent Nigerian leader and you don't mention Sir Al Hadid Ahmadu Bello, then you haven't done justice to the history of Nigeria. Sir Ahmadu Bello was born on June 12, 1909, January 15, 1966. He was the first and the only premier of northern Nigeria and he was the Sardona of Sokoto together with his contemporary Tapa Balewa. They fought for the independence and he was active in the politics of Nigeria, starting from the colonial area. Ahmad Bello was the leader of the Northern People's Congress and a prominent figure in the First Republic. He was born to the family of Malin Ibrahim Bello, a descendant of Usman Amfodio. Ahmad Bello, who was born in 1909, was a great grandson of Sultan Muhammad Bello. He was a prominent figure in the north, influence ran in his blood. Bello attended Sokoto Provincial School and the Kazna Training College. He finished school in the early 30s and became English teacher in Sokoto Middle School. In 1934, he was made district head of Rabah by Sultan Hassan Damu Azu, taken after his brother. Four years later, he became a member of the Sultan's Council. As soon as he was promoted to the position of divisional head of Kosovo, at the age of 28, that same year, he made an attempt to become the his Sultan of Sokoto, but lost to Sir Sadiq Abu Bakr Nooku, who reigned from who reigned for 50 years until 1988. Sabello was too born the Sardona of Sokoto Basa Sadiq Abu Bakr, which means the camp prince, and he was promoted to the Sokoto Native Authority. Ahmad Bello spent few years as an administration, administrator in the Sokoto Native Authority and began to develop interest in politics. And in 1948, he joined the Jem'ir Motana Ariwa which later became the Northern People's Congress. In the early 50s, he soon got a scholarship to England to further his studies in local government administration. Often his return to Nigeria, he was nominated to represent his province, Sokoto. In the regional House of Assembly, there was a need to redraft Richard Constitution, creating a need for representative for each region. For Velo's notable leadership, he was nominated as part of the committee that had a general conference in Ibadan. Being part of that committee made him a symbol of pride in the northern Nigeria and was asked to take up the leadership of Jem'ir Matana Ariwa in its first election held in 1952. In 1954, he became the first and the only premier of northern Nigeria, like Dr. Azukwe and others. He was interested in having a self-governed country. Being educated, he understood the importance of freedom and in 1959, his MPC forged an alliance with Zix and CNC to, to form a country's first indigenous federal government after leading MVC to win plurality of the parliament seat. Ahmad Bello was satisfied with attaining independence for the country alongside others in 1960 and once again display his selflessness by remaining the premier instead of taking up the prime minister position choose his deputy president in the npc tafa Alewa as prime minister he was polygamous as he had three wives which have sought to be in the first and he has three daughters it was under his reign that Northern Nigerian Development Corporation, NNDC, Bank of the North, and the Northern Nigerian Investment Limited, NNIL, were created. Having gone abroad to study, he knew the importance of schooling and he made sure he built a school in each province in the Northern Nigeria. So Ahmadu Bello modernized Northern Nigeria and unified the region. He was murdered in the first coup in the country 
on 15th of January 1966 alongside his friend Tafua Balewa and other prominent politicians from the North and the West. Why not if you find this very important to you, whether in your studies or in your life, please like this video, share it and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all.